Hey y'all, another project today. Uh, first of all, let me talk about Jerry over here, standing by the wood stove, all yucky and mucky. Uh, this morning, our neighbor came up to visit and I was starting talking to him and then Emma called for me out the barn and said that Jerry was down. And so I ran up there and Jack had already rolled him onto his belly, but evidently the best we can tell, the cows had eaten half of one of the round bales from the end and then it flipped over and we think when it did because he was right beside it we think it knocked him down head down the hill feet up the hill in the mud and muck up there where they've been eating and uh which you know normally you would think you'd be able to get up but i mean the best we can tell is it hit him so hard and knocked him down is that it kind of stunned him and then when he came to, he'd been laying there too long to get back up. It's really hard for a cow to get up if their body is down the hill from their feet or and if their head is down the hill from their feet too. So uh, it, it's very disorienting for them. So Jack rolled him back up on his feet by the time I got up there. And then I was standing with him and Kylie was there. Jack was going to look for some, uh, like we do a, uh, if like one of these little calves get down, we do a, uh, it's like a gel type stuff that gives them a boost of energy to kind of, kind of help warm them back up and get them back going again. Uh, so Jack was looking for that. He stood up on his own. Kylie kind of, we just kind of, kind of helped him balance for a second and he's fine. He's drying off. He's happy to be in here by the wood stove. It's not even that cold out today, like 40, but the wind is blowing, which is kind of miserable. But, uh, Anyway, I think he's gonna be just fine. He's Cookie's calf, so he's got a lot of dairy in him, and dairy calves just aren't big, meaty, fatty calves. That's just their nature. And uh, he has all the hay he can eat, uh, just like all the cows, but just because he's dairy, he doesn't grow great. And uh, one of those things, if, you, if you've got dairy cows, you know what I'm talking about. But, He's not our project today. He was our project because he had to be this morning. This is our project. I really need to make a ballast for my tractor. So I was thinking I could just build one out of some scrap plywood and it was gonna be kind of pieced together and it was gonna work. Then I was outside looking around and me and Jack both saw this and thought, huh, we could just use this. So we brought this in and uh, basically I'll show you what my plan is here in a minute but it's gonna be just basically a simple box that we're gonna fill with concrete, not fill this whole thing up. That would be a, over 2,000 pounds. I need about 1,000. We're gonna put uh, some concrete and rocks in it. What we'll do is we'll pour uh, probably two bags of quickcrete in it, then start putting some big uh, limestone rocks in it to just as fillers, because I don't need it to be solid concrete. I, I just need the weight. So we'll add some rocks, add some quickcrete, add some rocks until we get it up to the level that we need it to be. The rocks weigh about the same as concrete, maybe a little bit more if it's a solid big rock. So I think we need to have it like 20-ish or so inches tall, maybe 24 inches tall. I have to do the math again to get my cubic feet so that I can do the math on the concrete to figure out how much I need. And, um, but this is gonna work. This piece right here, um, I did some work for a bush hog and this came with the bush hog. But this is gonna work great to go down in here. It'll go basically like this, lower, of course, lower down. We'll show you, you'll see when we put it together. But I do have one of my connections right here is bent. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is stick it in the wood stove here and let it get glowing hot. It's gonna take a while, but that's, and then try to just drive it back straighter with a hammer. You can see how crooked that is. Um, really not a huge deal, but I'd just rather it be straight since I'm going to be working with it. But uh, I think this is going to work really well. We're going to put it like this through, and then I'll build it back up to it with my lift arms, hook them up, and then we'll use this angle to hook onto here. And once it's all for, filled, with, filled with concrete, it'll be super strong. Um, the one thing, I, I'm doing it this way, I'm orienting it this way to put more weight towards the back of the tractor. The farther back your weight goes, the more effective the ballast is. That's why we're doing it this way. It's not too wide. I could run it this way, but doing it 
this direction will give me more, it'll make the ballast more effective. All right, I've got this piece is pretty glowing orange now. I think I can bend it back straight with this. I don't have a bigger hammer. I don't even know where. I've got some four pound mini sledges, but who knows where they are right now. The kids have got them, I'm sure, somewhere. But anyway, I'm gonna take and drive this. I think I can bend it back straight. And then after it cools, I'll be able to measure for the size holes I need to put through here. Look how orange that is. That is nice and hot right now. That is a lot better than it was. A couple more wax here, I believe. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop with that. I'm just gonna set this up on top of here and let this cool now for a while. Hey y'all, it has been a really long time since we've done a video. Um, I've been working so much building fence. Jack and I have completed, we've, I think we've built nearly 4,000 feet of fence, livestock fence. Well, one was dog fence, but it was livestock type fence. It was the four by four goat and sheep fence. Um, anyway, we've been working a lot, uh, not for us, uh, for customers, but making money for us. So that's good. Anyway, back to where we started this video probably three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. We're building a tractor ballast. So, um, yeah. Sorry so long with no videos. It has just been crazy. We've been trying to make ends meet and doing what we have to do to do that. So that's where we are. But this is the angle iron. We've got our box over here. I'll show you in a second. And uh, we're almost to the point of filling it with concrete, um, which is going to be the exciting part because that's when things are going to come together we'll be able to make this thing work wonderfully. Let me cut this in half. So now we're gonna mix concrete. Jack, grab me some concrete. Yes, sir. And I will mix and pour it in. You just keep the bags coming. We have um, 960 pounds of concrete that we're gonna put in this ballast. So that'll give me 960 pounds of counterweight for the tractor. Let me open them. Yep, please. So y'all, this thing has got 960 pounds of concrete in it right now. Uh, look in here, Jack. Jack's got the camera for me. Um, so these right here are gonna set, and we're gonna drill a hole through them. That'll be my top link parts right here. And then obviously you can see where my lift arms are gonna go here. We put these straps around this to hold this together because if we didn't do that, it would not hold up. It would blow apart. So we just got it strapped and this is gonna sit here until tomorrow and we'll unstrap it and take it all apart. And we should have a uh, ballast. So the only last thing I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna take a hammer and I'm just gonna tap on this box a little bit to get any kind of air out of it that's in here. Anytime you're messing with concrete, see that water starting to come out? That's normal. You always want to tap on your forms 
to try to get any kind of air bubbles working up to the top. It just helps it settle. See, I'm hitting that right there. Water's blowing out there. That's absolutely fine. I'm just doing this all the way around the box. And the bottom just blew out some. Um, I better quit right there. Yeah, not gonna tap it anymore. Because I know this thing is rickety and barely pieced together. And when I tapped that side over here, the, it popped out a little bit. So we're gonna leave it. Um, everything is holding. I'm gonna adjust these a little bit. Like that. This thing doesn't have to be perfect. I know it's probably gonna be ugly, but it's function over form for sure. So anyway, we're done. We're gonna leave it and let it just set. So it should be cured, ready to take apart tomorrow. And uh, might even put it, well, let's see, do I wanna use it tomorrow? I need to use it tomorrow, but I might give it another few days before I start using it. Anyway, we'll see. All right, well, that's that. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna try to start doing a lot more videos. I do have another fencing job to do uh, this coming week, um, but it's a lot smaller. Whew, so anyway, we will uh, catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Click the like button, click the little notification bell, and YouTube will let you all know that you are enjoying, or let it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying our videos. I'm out of practice, it's been a while. Uh, anyway, thank y'all. We appreciate y'all, and hopefully we can just start cranking out the videos. We go through spurts, um, we do it as we can. So anyway, catch y'all later. Mm -hmm.